Johannesburg Emergency Management Services says areas in the burnt Bank of Lisbon building in the Johannesburg CBD will continue to smolder given the magnitude of the fire. Gauteng MEC Gwen Ramakopa says a recovery plan is in place. Uh, three firefighters were killed following the blaze which started on the 23rd floor of the building on Wednesday. Days after the blaze began, we can't say it's fully extinguished. Um, there's still smoke here and there, and uh, we are sending teams back. Uh, we only have the city of Joburg uh, teams today. We did not uh, request for the reinforcement that we had yesterday. So different teams are going to be going back uh, just to ensure that on the way there's piles of boxes, paper, and the furniture. We're going to do dumping down just to make sure that it does not reignite. Three emergency workers lost their lives. Eight others were seriously injured. Greatly uh, sad uh, at the loss of uh, three lives uh, of uh, our emergency officers who were on duty and uh, that uh, eight others are in hospital. Uh, I've um, uh, called uh, MMC Sun uh, of Community Safety in Johannesburg uh, to also uh, go and uh, visit uh, those uh, that uh, are in hospitals and we wish them speedy recovery and we extend uh, our condolences that have been expected on my behalf as well by the Premier of uh, Gauteng, uh, Premier Makura, to the families are also be visiting uh, the affected families. An investigation into the cause of the fire is ongoing but it seems answers are still few and far in between. We will continue to be briefed. I'm also going to meet with MEC Mamabolo uh, to assist uh, with the, the management of uh, uh, the issues of uh, accommodation for the staff that was here. I'm also meeting with unions uh, to ensure that we work together uh, in, this, uh, in this case. Priorities, firstly, is to ensure that the fire here is completely contained. Uh, secondly, um, uh, to ensure that uh, uh, the, we continue working together to support uh, the affected uh, families. An occupational health and safety steering committee has been set up to ensure that all provincial departments comply with occupational health and safety standards. The building, which accommodated three Gauteng departments, is one of seven government buildings in the city centre that don't comply with health and safety standards. The committee will be chaired by Gauteng Infrastructure Development MEC, Jacob Mamabolo, and all heads of departments will be part of it. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Johannesburg.